papers now here on France 24. We're going to have a look through uh, some of the main stories with Dipti. And Dipti starting today with the confirmation uh, of victory in Indonesia's general elections, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Prabowo Subianto, the defence minister, received the most votes in last month's election. It's official. He will be, uh, he will be uh, Indonesia's uh, next president after a landslide win, a win that's from the Singaporean newspaper Straits Times uh, this Thursday. His presidential campaign was marred by allegations of undue influence by the outgoing president, Joko Widodo, uh, who's accused of having appointed his own son to be Prabowo's running mate and now consequently his vice president. A landslide win is also how... Uh, uh, the Jakarta Post, uh, the Indonesian Daily, is uh, describing it on its uh, on its website. Prabowo is securing 96.2 million votes. That's 58.6 percent of the total votes cast. Uh, however, in the uh, editorial, the paper says these uh, these elections have yielded uh, mixed results because uh, Prabowo's party did not fare well in the legislative uh, uh, portion of these of these elections and. And furthermore, before his inauguration in October, he'll have to deal with legal challenges from his political rivals over the election results at the Constitutional Court. He'll also have to face an inquiry on election irregularities. Love this next story. Here in France, a photo of the French President Emmanuel Macron boxing has rather raised eyebrows and become uh, satirical fodder, perhaps not surprisingly, for internet users, Dipti. Yeah, and actually, it's uh, n the French papers aren't headlining on it today, but the Daily Telegraph <laughs> in the UK is. Uh, and uh, the little caption here says that uh, the photos released by Macron have been described by the French media as a show of ultimate virility, other outlets describing the, pres uh, the president as ready for battle, some evoking his Olympic strength as well, uh, his move from dove to hawkish when it comes to uh, Ukraine. So this picture uh, clearly being interpreted in a myriad of ways by uh, the press today. The left-wing daily Liberation, not Let's say it's not, they're not really a friend of Emmanuel Macron when it comes to his politics, but uh, they slam these uh, theatrical photos saying that they scream strength and power. Rocky Macron, I say, I, I quote, is a real man, it adds sarcastically. Not clear if the biceps in this picture have been uh, digitally altered or augmented in Photoshop, but the photos have been joyously mocked online. Uh, people poking fun, as I mentioned, at his Olympic strength. Um, there's uh, this uh, user says uh, after that boxing session, he uh, uh, he went straight on to his javelin uh, javelin throwing session. Um, uh, obviously, this is in this case a photoshopped image of the French president. You never he, know any anymore. Yeah, uh, exactly, you never know. After that, he did the press review as well. <laughs> uh, now he's the highest paid baseball player in the history of Major League Baseball in the U.S. with a contract worth seven hundred million dollars. This is the Dodgers slugger Shote Ati uh, Atani has uh, had some uh, personal trouble recently, though. Yeah, Shote Otani is a, Jap uh, a Japanese baseball wonder kid uh, who became the highest paid baseball player of the MLB when he signed a 10-year, $700 million contract with the LA Dodgers. The 29-year-old doesn't speak English, so as part of that deal, uh, his uh, very close personal friend uh, uh, serves as his interpreter and sort of came as part of that deal. That friend, however, has now been fired, the LA Times reports, um, after representatives for Otani report, uh, uh, accuse the interpreter of having stolen from Otani to place bets with an illegal bookmaker who's now under federal investigation story. Yeah, so trouble in paradise for Shuti Atani. Trouble in paradise also for France. You may remember we mentioned this briefly yesterday, but France has slipped even further in the World Happiness Study, and the papers are talking about it, aren't they? That's right. Le Parisien in particular is uh, talking about it today on its front page with this. You can feel the despair in this headline. What are we waiting for to be happy? Le Parisien says uh, on its front page, accompanied by an idyllic uh, picture of family happiness that apparently does not exist in France. Uh, France slipped further down the rankings to 27th place this year on, the, on that happiness index. Uh, you know, if you look at the state of things, certainly some things have gone awry. You have unhappy teachers, you have an anxiety around the police, you have a shortfall in hospitals, declining birth rate. At the same time, uh, Le Parisien has interviewed uh, certain experts who say you need to take this with 
a grain of salt. After all, it's uh, totally part of the French malaise to be unhappy. To quote Sylvain Tesson, uh, France is a paradise inhabited by people who think they're living in hell. It's a very well-worn uh, way of uh, a commentary about uh, the French people. But what's interesting in Le Parisien's coverage is uh, there's an interview here uh, where uh, they interview a psychiatrist and the first question they ask is, what is happiness? So uh, you might think that maybe somebody should be asking the Finns what happiness is. I think they are certainly the champions of happiness. They certainly are. We'll get some Finns to come and uh, live here in Paris to cheer everyone up <laughs> a little bit. Thanks, Tipsy. Tipsy with the papers here on France 24 and unphotoshopped Tika Laurent there.